Shaving foam seems to have completely covered Mr. Claypool. <laughs> well, after all, he's only a little shaver. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't work yourself into a lot, Mr. Claypool. <laughs> <laughs> Most amusing. What am I doing in there now? <laughs> we cannot tell. You're completely covered in the foam. Since you find the inside of the lamp so interesting, you shall both see it at closer quarters. <laughs> <laughs> And there you will remain until I release you. <laughs> Here, have you been out in the snow, Mr. Claypool? And now, for you, lovely lady, I am enslaved by your beauty. I am yours to command. I would gladly live for you. Don't bother. Oh, come now. You cannot reject my friendship. I appeal to you as a woman. But you don't even appeal to me as a man. Well, he's not a man. He's a spook. And now, have you decided which one of you is playing the genie? Yes! No! no. <laughs> Look, if you can't make up your mind who plays what I shall decide for you, Mr. Claypool will be the genie. Well, what about Mr. Mumford and myself? I trust that we shall be given roles that match our talent and acting ability. Oh, yes, you will. You shall play the pantomime horse. Oh, oh nay! Oh, yay! All right, that's it for tonight. We shall start rehearsing again tomorrow oh, afternoon. Mr. Mika! Oh. Farewell, oh pretty one. I remain your fervent admirer and your friend to boot. Don't tempt me. Mr. Mika, please. Good night, Good night, Good night Marjorie. Hey. It's coming along very nicely, dear. Which is more than I can say for you, Ethel Mika. I am very worried about the way you are playing Aladdin. It lacks sincerity. It lacks conviction. It lacks... Credibility. Oh, oh, what a oh, 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 I think he's wonderful. And that's not just my opinion, it's his too. Oh, hello. Uh, Adam Painting. Oh, uh, you, you came and haunted my fancy dress party last year. Do you remember? I was dressed as Dracula. Oh, yes. <laughs> We didn't recognize you without the fangs. <laughs> How interesting that you're doing a, a Mika Dramatic Society pantomime. I believe this is the third production they've done this year. Did you see their last show? I do hope so. Oh. <laughs> Only joking. Anyway, I heard your jingle for rent a Santa today, and I was wondering whether you'd care to come and work in my department store as Father Christmas. What, all three of us? Well, yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, splendid. Come and see me in the store tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Ethel, Oh, hello there. I, I, I saw you in uh, springtime in Transylvania and <laughs> loved it. Mind you, I've got dreadful taste. <laughs> oh, I do envy you all this. I've always wanted to go on the stage. <laughs> oh, hi, little ditty. Oh, now, look, Ethel, as I was saying, your Latin is a cardboard character. It's two-dimensional. It lacks subtlety. May I remind you that the last time I played Aladdin, the local... Local newspaper critic was most impressed by the way I built up the character layer by layer. He said, and I quote, mm, Ethel Meeker's Aladdin grows on you. If it grow on me, I'd chop it off. Now, look, Ethel, you can't just switch off after rehearsal. You have to live this part every minute of the day. What an excellent idea for improving her performance. Very well, Mistress Meeker shall live the part. Hello, Mr. Meeker. We're sorry to trouble you, but we called at the office to see Fred and found the place closed. We thought you might know what he was doing. Ah, yes. Well, he's got a job in a department store. I've got the address written down oh, somewhere. Okay. Would you like to come in here and sit down? Oh, okay. thank you, yes. Uh, before I get the address, perhaps you'd like a Christmas drink. Welcome, good friends. Gracious lady, may I bid you good day. And to you, good fellow, a thousand felicitations. <coughs> May I wish you a pleasant stay here in old Pekin? I always thought it was South Ealing. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel, haven't you got some work to do? Uh, uh, perhaps you'd like a nice little Christmas drink? <gasps> Capital idea! Soon I must leave you. I have to give my wicked uncle his desserts. I would like to boil a banana in oil. Well, don't let us keep you from your cooking. A toast to love! Life and happiness! <laughs> Turns out quite nice for the time of the year. <laughs> quite balmy outside. Yeah, it's quite balmy in here, too. Devil, please! <laughs> I'll just get that address where your son is working. <laughs> I bet I know what you want. You want to know where Freddie Mumford is. Who 
wants to know where Freddie Mumford is. Me, please. <laughs> I don't hear much from this side of the house. Come on, you can shout louder than that side. Who wants to know where Freddie Mumford is? Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps you don't want to know where Freddie Mumford is. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh yes, yes, we do. do. Oh, oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh yes, yes, Here is the address where your son is working. Oh, Ethel, give me address. 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 Ethel, I must apologise for the way my wife is behaving. She's been acting like this ever since rehearsal yesterday. I think she's letting her imagination uh, uh, run away with her. Well, I hope they'll be very happy together. Now, I want you all to join in with me after four. Four. <laughs> Raise the roof, it doesn't belong to you. Now, painting's great department store, North Street number 134. A painting's great. Never will you be quiet? No, Ethel, get on with the housework. Oh, God! No, Ethel. Ah! 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 Oh, here we go through. Yeah, we'll all go riding on the rainbow to a new land. Hooray! I think we'll postpone seeing Fred this afternoon. I couldn't face two nutters in one morning. I don't blame you. <laughs> and what have we here? A nice surprise for Robin and one for um, Rosina. And one for, for Susie. Now, uh, you'll all be good children, won't you, this year? And I'll see you next Christmas. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mummy. Bye bye, children. <laughs> 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 I'm relieved our first day is early closing. Conditions are absolutely exhausting on the second floor. Yeah. And on the third floor, too. What a pity that Christmas comes around just when the shops are getting crowded. I think you've all been splendid, Father Christmases. This is the first year we've had a Santa on every floor of my department yes. store. And do you know that Mr. Capo's going to use his magic powers to find the sleigh all over town and deliver your free gift? Oh, splendid. My best customers and their children will be thrilled. Yeah. Does anyone think that worries me? When they see your sleigh going over their homes, would they wonder where the uh, reindeers are? I say they've gone to a stag party. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably won't notice us up there. Huh? Of course they will. Well, why? Because you'd better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice Santa Claus is coming to town He knows if you are sleeping He knows if you're awake He knows if you are good or bad So be good for goodness sake So you, you better, better watch out, out. You, you better, better not cry You, you better, better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town Christmas tree, so you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. And Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winter Wonderland, Santa Claypole speaking. Ah, just the spook I want. I've a shrewd idea you were responsible for making Ethel behave like a demented Aladdin ever since yesterday. But I was merely fulfilling your wishes. But since you do not approve... <coughs> behold, the spell is cancelled. Yeah, and about time too. Now look, where is Mumford and Davenport? We're rehearsing the horse scenes. They're supposed to be here, in this costume. But unfortunately, our new job prevents us from rehearsing. <coughs> If Masters Mumford and Davenport cannot be inside the pantomime horse skin, then I, Santa Claypole, shall give it a magic life all of its own. Oh, no, I... Oh, yeah. oh. 